you know, sometimes uh, you just got to kick a field goal. <laughs> well, if you don't know what a field goal is, <laughs> let me clear you in. If you're not in America and you don't understand what a field goal is, field goal is part of uh, American football. Uh, and it's sort of the participation trophy of the, the league uh, if, in a game. So, so if you're not familiar with football, um, the object of a, any, even any possession is to get the ball across the goal line um, and score a touchdown. And as a result of the touchdown, you, can, you then have the opportunity to uh, kick an extra point or actually run, run or pass for two extra points um, as sort of a reward for making it in. If you don't make it, though, if you fail, they say, oh, well, you know, you can kick a field goal. That's okay. Just go ahead and kick a field goal. <laughs> field goals are worth three points. Touchdowns are worth six points. I personally believe field goals ought to be eliminated from the game. I hate field goals. I hate the idea of a field goal. Um, it just, if you win a game on a field goal, you don't deserve to win. That's my opinion. <laughs> and while we're saying opinions on football, stand up. All right, so this is my field goal. This is my field goal. I have been trying all week uh, to cast this hammerhead. And eventually we will see this come out in a video. This, uh, this is aluminum bronze, and this is a uh, replica of this real hammerhead. So we're, uh, we're trying to re reproduce this for a friend. And I have had a lot of problems. But I have had some successes, so we're going to focus on the success, one of those successes today. And I'm going to show you something that um, you may or may not be aware of, but I want to give you a way to do something. Do <laughs> I want to give you a way to be able to create sodium silicate cores with just stuff you can buy uh, at the local home improvement store. So let's go over to the bench and I'll show you how, I, how I've been doing this. Okay, as I mentioned, sodium, sodium silicate cores, not just sodium silicate cores, but cores are useful for casting things like holes in the center of a part. Um, for example, this, if this is made of wood, but um, it fits the hole and would, I can use it to fill this part in while I pour metal around it. I obviously can't do that with wood, but I can do that with sand. And here's, a, um, here's an example of a core that... Um, wasn't quite so successful and broke, uh, but you get the, the idea that this would go inside here, fill this up, and I would pour metal around it. So let's, uh, let's look at what I use. First thing I have is just ordinary uh, playground sand, and I bought this at the local home improvement store. Uh, it's just comes in a bag, says playground sand, or yeah, I think it comes to this playground sand. And I just sifted out to get some of the big chunks out. It's really fine. I really am quite pleased with the the texture. I was expecting it to be much coarser. So this is this is really nice to have it this way. Right, so I'm going to take uh, my a mold that I made. This is I printed this on my 3D printer. And it's actually, if you can tell, this end is wider than that end, and that's because I want my I want my hammer handle and the hole through the eye in my hand hammer uh, to be tapered so that when I push it, put a wedge in there, it'll, it'll wedge in tight. So basically all I have to do for this pattern is just sort of hold them together. There we go. I'm going to put these spring clamps on here just to hold it. like that. And then the next thing I'm going to do, just I'm going to fill this thing up so I can get an idea of how much sand I really need. So there's that much. I'm going to put a lot of this back into the bowl because I don't want to turn it into sodium silicate sand. 
Okay, so now we've got a rough measure. I've actually got more than, uh, than I need here. Next, I'm going to take this stuff. And this is what I bought uh, at, I bought this from the local uh, home improvement store. Uh, I got this from the orange one. If you're uh, in the States here, you could also get it at the blue one or the red one, <laughs> depending on uh, which store you, you prefer to shop at. But um, it was cement floor sealant. Nowhere on this jug does it say sodium silicate, but it is. If you go out to their website, um, you can you can find that out. So, I had some gloves. I'm going to put gloves on just because. Yeah, it gets kind of it gets a little sticky, and I don't want it to deal with it on my hands when I'm trying to do other things. So, now I know from experience that I need three of these caps, capfuls of material to pretty much do what I want with that much sand. And if I have time, I may do an experiment. I may use more and see if we get a stronger core out of it. All right, so all I'm gonna do now is just mix it up with the sand. pretty well mixed. It's kind of wet. It's actually wetter than I normally make it. It's kind of like green sand when uh, in consistency this is a little wetter. But we're going to go ahead and pack this up here and give it a shot. Now I have found to some sites you look at they say don't pack it hard um, because you don't need to. Well um, I'm going to pack it kind of hard because I have found that I have found that it doesn't um, come, it tends to not, if I don't pack it hard, the center is weak. So we're just going to put this in here and I'm going to start piling sand down in. We're going to put it in this way. It helps if the little end is at the bottom, otherwise your core tends to want to just fall out. See what I mean about it being sticky. And there's a reasonably good working time with this stuff. It doesn't start setting up right away. Okay. But the next step that I do, and you can, everybody does this, I think, with sodium silicate, is you it, you have to you bathe it in, in carbon dioxide in order to get it to to cure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this out of the mold and There's our, there's our core. Looks pretty good. There's a little spot there, but for demonstration purposes, we're going to be okay. Now, I don't have, like I'm sure a lot of you don't have, I don't have a bottle of carbon dioxide. So what am I going to do? How am I going to get carbon dioxide into this container and cure this stuff? Well, what I do have Is baking soda and vinegar and baking soda is sodium bicarbonate and when you mix that with vinegar what you end up with is carbon dioxide so we're just going to pour some of this in here 
Uh, carbon dioxide is heavier than air, so I'm not worried about it all coming out of this container when I'm pouring uh, vinegar up there. And I'm just going to set a lid on here for a short time, maybe half an hour or so. And we'll let that harden up, and I'll come back and I'll show you what we got. Okay, I don't know how long it's been. I uh, went in the house, I watched a video from Chandler. <laughs> he just had another one dropping his compressor. Well, he didn't really drop it. He, uh, he lied. He lied, that boy. So, let's see what we got now. Nice thing is, it's good and hard. Um, question is, always, the question is, can I get this thing out of here without breaking it? A little concerned about that spot right there. Um, could be a weak spot, so... I'm going to clean it off here just to make sure I don't have any edges sticking. And I'm going to use this like it was a regular pattern. I'm going to, because it gets wider as I go this direction, I'm just going to try to slide it that way. And if I slide it just a little bit, the whole thing should release, in theory, if I can slide it. And there's a core. Pretty nice core. That would make a really nice hole in a hammer. So, uh, I think this is a pretty short video. I may go ahead. Uh, you can skip to the end if you want, um, because at this point I'm going to go ahead. Wait. <laughs> All right, this is better. And now I can, I, can, well, I can see me. I can't see you still. Hmm. Anyway, uh, that's it. I mean, that's really all I wanted to show you today. It, I think it's a useful thing to know, and I want you to be able to know that, man, you can put this stuff together with stuff that you can find easily. I mean, I found it no sweat, and none of it was expensive. It was all reasonably cheap. Uh, I didn't have to go out and buy CO2 canisters and get nozzles to poke, poke it through and all that stuff. Um, making the cores, easy, 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 easy. So if you're uh, in need of doing something like that, you got to consider this. I think it works great for me. And uh, I think I'm going to end it there. You guys, uh, you have a great day. Oh, 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 I forgot. If you want to subscribe, there's a subscribe button right over there. Right over there. Take care. Have a great day.